going on everybody? I'm your host, Tyquan Gibbons, but most of you might know me as Watts Homie Quan, actor, content creator, director from Watts, California. We ain't here to talk about that. We're here to bring you good eats from the streets. And with that being said, I'm gonna take you to this amazing brunch spot in LA called the Court Cafe. On the street is they got the best brunch and mimosas in the city that is what the streets are saying and then after that we finna go to fiesta martin in inglewood to get some fresh and flavorful mexican food so with that being said i'm not finna waste y'all time i'm about to go eat you want to come with me come on wow what's up with you my boy my name is Chef Ken. I'm the heartbeat of the Court Cafe right here in Los Angeles. So I grew up in Inglewood, California, not too far from the restaurant. Growing up in Inglewood, you know, it was rough, but I mean, it's what we knew. Same old gang violence, typical hood stuff, but I can't beat it. I love the way I grew up. My journey as a chef began um, real young with my father. Um, he was a butcher and a chef for 35 years. So me and him would do a lot of cooking at home and that's what sparked my interest. Um, eventually, as I got older, became a teenager, I realized cooking is how you got the girls. The girls always love the dudes who could cook. So, you know, it started there. And eventually, you know, me and my boys, we used to do music. So, you know, whenever we would have video shoots, so we'd go to the studio, I always cook. And um, that's when I realized people actually love the food that I make. So that's what really sparked my interest is becoming a chef. Man, nothing cooling, I'm trying to, uh... Get a bar of it, man. Hell yeah, you came to the right place, man. Yeah. This, this, this is a lot to look at. I'm gonna go, uh. Hey, go ahead and have a seat. Cop a squat. Right, right with you. All right. I can get a mimosa? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I can get a mimosa? All right. They got flavorful butter. Hey, Chef Ken, yeah. let me get the chicken and waffles, the flavorful butter, and the. Uh, some catfish and grits. Gotcha. All right, yeah, let me take my jacket off. This is, this is about to be good. Being a chef is definitely a passion for me. It's something that I always wanted to do. I got put on punishment in the sixth grade and I had to sit in the house all summer. So I used to watch all these cooking channels. And from there, it's like, I used to always wish that, oh, I can't wait till I get some money so I could start cooking all this different food and all these different sauces and seasonings and play with them. And you know, that's just where my passion developed, you know, because this is a form of art. I'm, you know, the kitchen is a blank canvas and the food that I create and, you know, we pass it to the consumer, you know, they're, they're getting a piece of our art. Oh, come on, talk to me now. Oh, man, we got that chicken and waffles, red velvet waffle, oh, that my. blue burrito. <laughs> got some more coming for you right now. Got some. Now that's how they're supposed to treat you when you come in. Oh, there's Catfish more? Catfish and grits, man. Catfish, okay. All right, now. Can't forget the signature butters. Yeah, that's, the, that, that's, that's that special butter. Butter. That's that butter. Yeah. yeah, it's been amazing. It's had its ups and downs, its challenges. We opened right before COVID. Um, COVID actually happened within our first year, so we faced a lot of challenges with that, you know, opening and then having to shut down. A lot of people, you know, we were new. They didn't know we were here. Our hours were a morning brunch, breakfast restaurant. So luckily with COVID, the world shut down and people didn't have many resources to go for food and we remained open through it. And people weren't working. A lot of people discovered us from that. We just opened the front door blocked it off, served everything to go. And in a way, you know, although it was challenging in the beginning, once we figured out and people caught on, it was the biggest blessing. From there, once we reopened, we did a whole rebrand and a remodel, and you know, it's been nothing but amazing things. Man, I can't wait to eat this. Blue gotta come, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm hungry. Oh, what's the deal? <laughs> yeah. How you feeling? I'm good, I'm good. Oh, man. Hey, man, I see you eating good. Man, this uh, this this is crazy. I've yeah. never seen any food in real life, like any food spot in real life, plate they food like. Oh this. man, you know that's that's one presentation people eat with their eyes. Hello. They eat with their eyes first. I can eat right now. Yeah, go ahead. 
Go ahead. You hey, you see the chicken? You see this 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 crispy right here. This this it got a crunch to it. I can see the seasoning in it. I've never, I have yeah. never seen the yeah. pepper flakes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's your saying? My nigga enjoy. My nigga enjoy. My huh? nigga enjoy. <laughs> I'm about to try one of these things. God damn. How's that crunch? See, this is not, you know what you're doing when you're cooking. The chicken ain't even tough. It's juicy, it's tender. That's a uh, 24 hour brine on the uh, wings. My brother Taco Mel is like real passionate about this brine. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to know, like, who invented fried chicken? <laughs> I just, oh, no. I just want to. <laughs> no, nah, that's it. You would think that black people invented fried chicken, I right? It. I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it. And what? We wasn't eating that good back in the It was the Scottish. <laughs> the Scottish invented fried chicken uh -huh. back in the 1700s. Uh -huh. It wasn't introduced to the slaves until the 1800s. Uh -huh. But when they were cooking their chicken, shit didn't have no seasoning in it. Yeah. So the slaves went to grass, got the seasoning and everything <laughs> they did, sprinkled on the chicken, and we enhanced the chicken game forever. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you, Scotland. <laughs> Chicken fun fact. PSA. This is the real fact. I ain't got to lie about shit. Go look it up. No, seriously. Go look it up. It's on Google. Type it. Who invented fried chicken? Not black people, but we enhanced it. Amazing seasoning and hot sauce. So, and these red velvet uh, waffles? Red velvet waffles with the cream cheese drizzle. Oh, come on. Whip. I got to get a bar. Got the uh, catfish and grits. Catfish and grits? So which one's the peach cobbler butter? Shit, this one. That one? That's the peach That's the brown butter. sugar butter. Strawberry. So, I heard that on Instagrams, that you don't need no, you don't need no syrup on it no, or nothing. You don't need no syrup. You don't need no syrup Spread that on there and enjoy. All right. It's crazy. Ain't nobody making red velvet waffles. <laughs> this shit is a cake. Fire. <laughs> I got red. I ain't never had red velvet piece combo. <laughs> oh God, no. That ain't, oh God. <laughs> We gotta show the camera, man. We gotta got, got get that in there, you feel me? If you try to impress a shorty or something, bring it to the court cafe. Or two desserts in one. You feel me? Everything gonna be okay. You know what I'm talking about? Court Cafe is extremely important to the community. Um, we, we provide you know, employment opportunities for the community, people of all shades and colors, even for the consumers. It's, it's a place where you know, you could go in, in a neighborhood and you could get great food and we treat it as a fine dining restaurant. Even from, you know, the quality of our ingredients, everything is locally, you know, sourced. Um, you know, from the way that we're plating, that we're really big on presentations. Me and Grub as the chefs, that's something that, we, you know, we, we sit on the phone so many times brainstorming of, of different ways that we could elevate our menu and, you know, just do things that, you know, bring great food and great quality to the community. All right, now let's get ahead. Let's go ahead and um try the catfish and grits. grits with the etouffee sauce. Etouffee sauce, yeah, okay. fire. Oh, yeah. Man, I know your background. Yeah. Compton, California. Yep. Really mm -hmm. one of them. Eastside. You feel me? So, with that being said, man, I've seen your amazing plating. I see how you take pride in your cooking. And a question for me, like, with the background that you had, how does a kid in Compton find his love for cooking? Like, it's technique to your shit. Like, yeah, did you yeah, go to yeah. culinary school? Like, Nah, nah, my grandmother, mm -hmm. my grandmother did that. She wasn't the uh, average grandmother. She, uh, she cooked it all. We wasn't just a soul food family, mm -hmm. you know. Um, she cooked everything, she cooked everything. And I just learned, I was basically thugging, but still, you know, when my grandmother wanted me to go shopping with her, I'll go shopping with her. Mm -hmm. I'll help her put the groceries up. And then when it was dinner time, I'll help her prep dinner. You know what I'm saying? I was one of them niggas that was thugging after I ate dinner. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got to eat dinner first, my nigga. I'm going to come thug with y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah cool. that's what it was. You know Damn. what I'm saying? Like, I got my love for cooking from my grandmother. Yeah, shout out yeah, G-Moms. Yeah, shout out to G-Moms. That's crazy. For one, sure. One thing I'm going to say, bro, and nigga ain't going to get too... Uh, yeah, come on, man. Bro, but I'm proud of you, bro. Oh, just, thank you, man. I'm proud the, of us. Yeah, just the fact that you come from where you come from and you chose to do something. Like God gave you a calling and you found it and you figured it out and you stuck with it, bro. Me and hey, my brother Mel, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Taco Mel. Mm -hmm. Talk to Taco Mel. 
He in the back yeah, somewhere. Yeah, he back here. But he's yeah. watching. Just know. <laughs> well, um, it's just crazy, bro, just to see us do this. And the fact that I love about your restaurant is it ain't just pictures of you. It's pictures of all the black-owned food spots all over the city. Yeah. These are the people that don't need social media, so you don't hear about right. them. You know what I mean? If you're not from that era, then you don't know about them. So we just want to pay homage. We not no haters. Like like I always say, we gonna make our money regardless. So. Come on. I'm gonna lie. I fuck with the Etu face off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm good. All right, now. Let's see what's up with the burrito. That's a blue burrito. Um, fried lobster, uh -huh. shrimp, potatoes, uh, egg. I see some chicken sauce. It's Etu face sauce, Gouda cheese sauce. What's the deal, Sonny? So a little birdie told me that you've never had a mimosa before. Oh yeah, oh, nah, yeah. nah, I never had one of them. So we got a pineapple, we got a strawberry, we got an orange, and a sunny sunrise. And a sunny sunrise. My Which nigga enjoy. Um, my nigga enjoy. You gotta enjoy. try them all. I'ma take this one. Oh, take the pineapple? Yeah, I'ma take oh, this right. one and I'ma add a little. Yeah, a little, little, little uh-uh in there, okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and give me a bite the burrito. This look like one of the pictures that be on Grubhub. We in person. Alright, man. Let's go ahead and try the burrito. Alright. Damn, it's flavorful. Like, you got a lot in this. It's a heavy burrito. Heavy. How much heavy. is this burrito? Shit, like 27 or something, 25. Worth it. Yeah, that's it is worth fried it. lobster in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. That's expensive. And the thing about it is, it can feed like two people. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Two people in one minute. That's good. I just think the biggest thing with the Koi Cafe, um, again, you know, we're we're really community community based people. We provide jobs in the community and everything. But most importantly, just you know, us, you know, me, Mel, Grub, Sunny, us at the, the round table, the, the amount of dedication that we put into the, to building this thing and constantly elevating and you know and, and you know, we just don't want to be that that brand that's around for 40 years doing the same thing. You know, we constantly, you know, we're constantly hitting the books. We're trying to learn more. We're learning more in business. You know, we we all started this with no experience. None of us had experience in the restaurant business. You know, with the Court Cafe in itself, none of us had experience in dining. This was all of our, you know, first goal around. You know what I mean? And we we made it happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's a mimosa hey, exactly? Cause I don't champagne know. Champagne and orange juice or whatever. Champagne. Whatever juice, honestly, but it's really champagne and orange juice. Champagne and orange juice. Yeah. That's your crazy. It really do look like a sunrise. Yeah, that's some champagne with orange juice, a little bit of grenadine. That's the sunny sunrise. Oh, that's hard. I, I like it for, for the first time. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I've never been a brunch type of nigga. I don't even know how you dress. At what? Brunch. Nigga, just like this. Nigga. Just, like just drink mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> Make it brunch, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, there you have it. I came to the Court Cafe, and I'm going to say it's the best in LA. Yeah. Got an empty sunny sunrise mimosa my first time. It's actually yeah, good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the one I, I really like. I think yeah. that pineapple, the pineapple one looks pineapple good. Pineapple fire. I drank all of that. <laughs> he had one, I drank all of it. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Check this out. We're going to come back for another season if you're willing to have your yeah, boy come. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And then I want to uh, go to uh, Vegas. I think I'll yeah, take yeah, a trip yeah, to Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Court Cafe, LA, Vegas. Blue Kitchen Garlic Noodle Bar, Taco Mail in the Merc Park, Taco Mail Blue Kitchen. Yeah. All right, Taco Mail. Can I come to the spot? You feel me? Get a taco, a burrito, or a little nacho, or something, some Kool Aid. I know you got like 30 different. Oh, there we go. Boy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, there you have it. You feel me? Came to the court cafe with the owners. You feel me? So we're going to have some fun. Yeah. I appreciate y'all for having me. And what's your saying again? My nigga enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you see me at the court, and the mimosas, the mimosas is mimosas. Cause I feel it, I feel good. And the sunny sunrise is the one that I would prefer, and the pineapple, even though 
grew up finish it and I didn't even get a chance to have it because it was for me, not for him. He, he, he owned half of this. This wasn't for anyway. Now that was good. Now let's go to Inglewood and see what my boy Gerardo got for us at Fiesta Martin. Hello, welcome to Fiesta Martin Mexican Grill, located here in the beautiful city of Inglewood, California. Opened in 2009, started by Don Esaul Martin and Gloria Martin, along with their five children. We have a lot of plates to go over, and I'm very excited to showcase them to you. Come on in. So, so come on. Thank you for coming, bro. Thank you. Man, we got a lot of plates to try. You ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Come on. <laughs> Let's do all this. Right, come on. All right, come on. Let me show you where all the magic happens. Oh, the magic happens. But hold on, hold on, hold on. I heard you know how to make some good fajitas. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, all right, let me bit. show you where all the magic happens. Come on. All right. We going in the kitchen. <laughs> Tell you, man, this is where all the magic happens, right here. Oh, my God. We got the fajitas going for you, man. So we got them right here on the grill. Fuck, I got la lumbre otra vez, papa. Here we go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. OK. Get that flavor. Yeah. Got that nice color on there. OK. Get them Taekwondo fajitas going. Woo. Hey, you're a pro, man. Look at that. I'm talking about See? I got my chef's right. Hello. All right, so look, well, we're we gonna go try the dishes. Yeah, let's go try it. We got a bunch of stuff set up for you. We got the uh, tacos, we have the nachos, uh -huh. we have the uh, chile verde burrito, uh -huh. and we also have the uh, tour of Mexico that I want you to try, man. I hope you're excited. I am. <laughs> I hope y'all excited, because oh, yeah. I wish y'all could smell what I'm smelling back here. <laughs> yeah, they for sure cooking with love in that kitchen. I love when you walk inside of Fiesta Martin. You feel an inviting family vibe. It makes you feel right at home. From the colors on the wall, to the sombreros, the wide selection of tequilas, and the classic ranchera music. You know, we go, oh my boy, oh he went crazy. <laughs> See, that's why I love Fiesta Martin. They get you right every time. Oh my God, wow. So this is the uh, Sala Nachos. Okay, okay. Tour of Mexico. Tour of Mexico, okay. Oh, all right then. So, come on. <laughs> okay, see this is how you play. The presentation is everything. Like, you notice how the plating is. Nothing is sloppy, everything is bright, vibrant. The fresh pico de gallo on top of the taquitos makes this pop. The colors reach out at you. And I can't even pronounce half of this stuff, so I'm gonna call in my expert to help me. Gerardo. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's up, the one? Hey, man, t t tell the people what we got here so they know. Absolutely, absolutely. So this is one of my favorites. It's actually the uh, chile verde burrito with uh, salsa verde. Okay. Uh, very tender uh, pork in there. And then we also have the taquitos, uh, the cebrada and chicken. We okay. also have our uh, traditional nachos, uh, come with jalapenos, guacamole, sour cream, pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. You can never go wrong with the taco del pastor. Uh, oh, yeah. It comes with uh, green salsa, red salsa, however you desire. Okay. Our homemade chicken tamales are very, very popular. Uh, they come with uh, white meat inside and the uh, okay. red mole sauce and the melted cheese, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Last but not least, the tour of Mexico with the fresh guacamole and the 10 tacos. I could eat that on one sit. I don't know about you. <laughs> hey, come on. Hey, hey. Is this, real quick, is this the carnitas? Oh, that's carne asada. Carne asada. Yeah, carne asada. Oh, yep. my God. Look, see, look. I'm, I'm getting Carne asada. <laughs> Carne asada. <laughs> Sometimes we put R's where they don't need to be, but I almost got it today. So, <laughs> what do you think I should try first? You know what, if I were you, I'd go in on the Chile Verde burrito, man. That's, like I said, it's one of my Come favorites. On. You can never go wrong with that. All right, let's dig in. <laughs> he said it's muy delicioso, so we finna try it. We gonna see it all right now. Let me dig in there. Oh my God. Hold on, Taekwondo. Let me let me give give you a little hat real okay, quick. So okay. You can really enjoy like Viva Mexico. <laughs> ah, no, no, look. You see the meat right there? It's a very tender piece of meat. I like how the rice is gripping. The meat uh, tastes so good. Mmm, that is good. Oh my God, the the meat. Okay, you want to cook this meat? Slow cooked it, cause that's right. It's so tender. Yeah, that's right. The flavors pop. It's not too hot, but it got like a little sweet kick to it. Damn, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. This is good. This can feed like three people. I actually really love this. Damn, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go with the tequila, just cause the presentation looks so nice. Yeah, that's queso cotija. 
Yeah, muy popular. Alright, you can tell this was freshly fried. This is. You hear that pepper? You heard the pepper? <laughs> Damn, okay, this is good. Let me dip it in the guacamole. <laughs> <clears throat> Carne asada, taco. Okay, now the red one is usually like the super hot one, right? This That's the hot one. This is the picosa. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I want y'all to kind of see it. I want to get a little splat right there. Okay, you see that right there? It's fine, it's divine, and it's right on time. We're going in for a bite. Woo! You got thick to it. It's so tender. Like, that's what I like from both of these. All three, actually. It's very, very tender. Got that kick. Like, I can still taste the. The hot sauce. <laughs> it's fire. Let me get one more bite. Yeah, it definitely has a kick to it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hey, someone get Taekwondo some water. He needs some water. <laughs> Agua. Agua. Ah, por favor. <laughs> that was really good, man, but I wish I had some help. I can't finish all this, but you I'm. You need some help? I heard you say you need some help eating some of this, man. Boom, boom, all... what the? I seen you from across the street. You know what I'm saying? You got all this food over here. You're not going to finish this. Let me pass that over here. Pass it over here real quick. That's the homie Boomer. Bro, that was a figure of speech. <laughs> All right, man, this the homie, though, man. This is Boomer, bro. Are hey, you messing with nachos? Yeah, I want some nachos, man. Mm. That's good right there. On point, huh? Yeah, what y'all cook this with, love? Oh, extra love. Extra okay, love. I, I, I guess can I can't it. even eat none of that. I can taste it. What's up? You gonna give me some money right now? <laughs> All right, let, I, you, I, like just, you ain't hungry right now, huh? <laughs> I'm just about to go into the... It's damn good now. The I'm sleeping outside. Should I put the lime on top? Yeah, definitely. Put some uh, guacamole on there. Arriba. Ooh, para darle sabor. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Yeah, I'm tired. They call him my name. <laughs> yes, they is. <laughs> I hear you, boo. <laughs> All right, bro. How you rate the nachos, bro? I'm going to give this a 20 out of 10. Yeah. Right now. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? Nachos, yeah. Devil to love. What are you talking about? Mm. Okay, now this is a tamale. All right? Mm -hmm. And this is, you have to get a bar. A lick bar. This tastes like six in the morning. <laughs> you got the ladies to come to my butt. Tamale, 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 tamale. <laughs> and I'm like, let me get through them. <laughs> Fire. Fire. I've never had a tamale at a restaurant. I only had the hood tamales. This one right here, A1 at some point. <laughs> now, I heard. You got some amazing drinks. Oh yeah, definitely save room for the drinks. We're we're known for the drinks here, so I got a special a special treat for you. Oh, you do? Absolutely. Come on, bring it out then. Let's do it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We see? Get, we getting drunk too? Yeah. You could do that here? Yeah. <laughs> you can do everything. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, so uh <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, hand chop. Don't tell me what I don't tell me that is what I think it is. Oh, oh, I okay, look, 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 look. I think I can explain this one. Okay, this is the horchata. Horchata? Okay. <laughs> With the Hennessy on it? On Hennessy. Oh, 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 oh. hey. Hey. Hennessy. All right. Cheers. Yeah. Y'all see this? Okay, this is horchata. With Hennessy, okay? I don't know what this is going to do to me, but I'm willing to try today. <laughs> Just empty up the whole clip. Ain't no looking back after this. <laughs> it's gone, my boy. Ain't no, <laughs> ain't no looking back. <laughs> I'll see, right, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right, let's try now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. No, they didn't. That's fine. You oh, they didn't. No, they didn't. Uh huh, they did. Yes, they did. That's why right here. Yeah, you feel me? Mm. This is crazy. Look, okay. I've had mixed drinks where I still taste the liquor, but the fact that I don't taste it is scary. Three 
gulps later. Pero si vieras como son lindas hey. estas borracheras y ándale. <laughs> Pero hasta <laughs> cuando dejan tus padres de andarte cuidando y ándale. <laughs> Look, I had a great time. Look, everything was fire. I love this. I want more of this. I want a gallon. <laughs> and hey, I'm sorry for cussing, but this shit was busting. Hey.